This is my new spot for the next few days because I'm on holiday and I've got all the time I need to be building out my van. In this video I want to build a couch, not the one that I am sitting on. I've actually used that for a couple of weekend trips which was nice but only because I didn't have a appropriate sitting area which I'm going to build. Right to the left of the wood burner and I'm going to have the fridge in there as well. I've got this wicked shelter place for a few days which is super nice because it's been snowing a heap last night and uh, everything starts to melt today sadly. Everything is wet and yeah this, this place is sheltered so super nice.
So, this is it. The couch is done. And I'm um, very happy how it turned out. I did make a couple of mistakes, which I'm going to share with you in a minute, but I just want to show you how nice this thing is. Got two lids, one for the fridge, obviously, which still opens. I can still take out this crate here. Very nice. And on the other side, we got, we got some cables in here and uh, some storage might. One of the bigger things I probably could have done better is put the hinge, which you can see here, put this hinge on the outside, on the back side of this board that's going across. Because now I've got a bit of a gap on the whole length here, which I just uh, didn't really see coming. Just in case you want to do the same. Um, have a bit of a cut out on this board, this back board that's going across and put the hinge on the back. Take a chisel or something or like a file it off and so that the hinge sits on the back side and sits flush in with the board on the top. And so then you can have the board running all the way across and even going all the way to the very end and it still opens all the way, which is super nice. But yeah, in this case, I wanted to have it in the front. I don't know why, I just didn't think about it. So yeah, that was one mistake. The other one was that the whole length of this top lid was actually too short. I have taken the length off the side piece here and didn't factor in this board at the front. And so having the gap in the back here is the only option so that it shuts all the way to the front. So a bit of a rookie mistake there. And that's a small third mistake which was uh, one of the boards going on the inside here, from here to there, um, which used to be a bigger board, and then I replaced it with a thinner one so that I, I can actually take out this fridge. So that was a lifesaver when I screwed the whole box to the frame of the wood burner and the passenger seat so that it all is super secure and doesn't move. Um, yeah, and it's super nice to, that I can actually clean it out. So yeah, taking out the fridge is super nice, having that feature now and Apart from that, it all looks very good. Obviously, I don't have any cushions on there, so it's kind of like a wooden box, but imagine having like a nice piece of cushion on there and they can just, you know, sit here and relax. I think it's be pretty nice. Um, so stay tuned um, how I'm going to uh, make the cushions and all that kind of stuff because I'm going to have a separate video on that. Yeah, what do you think? What did you think of the close-up shots with the macro lens that I did in between? Very soon I'm going to have the kitchen in here. I'm probably going to do that now. But I want to just, you know, cut the video off here and I will see you in the next video.